recording. Hello, my name is Maggie Wolf, and I'm a member of the project team for the Rubenstein Library Card Catalog. Um, the Rubenstein Library Card Catalog uh, project really began about 10 years ago in 2012 when the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of card catalog entries, uh, which had been handwritten and hand typed for decades, of everything in the archives at Rubenstein Library were, uh, were burned and digitized and made into PDF files. And what the point of our project and the project, the previous project of the 2021 team has been to digitize those effectively so that researchers and uh, researchers and students and future archivists can find them and access them easily. So my job during this project has been to upload the 159,000 plus subject file cards um, that we have been working with to the Internet Archive, which is a part of the Wayback Machine and which for which I have used uh, the Internet Archive API and Python. Good. Uh, we then took the CSV and then, through natural language processing, analyzed the topics and subjects that came up in it. And we then took that those topics and then found the most common topics such as, such as U.S. Civil War, U.S. Civil War military troops, something like that, and, and, so, and furthermore. So now we have two data sets of just the subjects and the text of the files, as well as a, a data set for the most common topics we found. And the most common topics we found were socialist uh, serials and also US Civil War. So those are the most common topics. I'm recording. In the future, it would be beneficial for future project teams uh, to go into further depth uh, with the natural language processing work that we began. Uh, so using those most common subjects and finding for example, archaic language that was used by the typists who were typing the card catalog, or... Yeah. Uh, we would also like to better optimize the OCR process we use to convert the images to text files, because the OCR, while it worked relatively well, also had some errors in spell checking and not recognizing certain languages. Also, we hope to optimize the natural learning processing we did as well, because it didn't recognize certain old archaic names or topics. So we hope future researchers will further improve on the methods we use to get better results.